What the heck are they storing in there? It had, has holes and it's big and locked up. But we're gonna find out, maybe. Don't think so, though. Anyway, hey together, Aaron the Black Dragon's back. And welcome all of you to another part of Tem. Tem. And my nose is itching. Where did it get go? Good freaking drop their nose. Anyway, we're on the airship right now. So, not in Amnesia. I thought it was an instant cut to it, but apparently no. So we're here and we're exploring around. Was there something right now? No, that was just the dust that I kicked up. And we're in the lower decks and I'm just taking a look around here. I got an enhanced avocado. This creamy delight makes the best salads. It's 50 TV to a random stat below 500 TV. I get so many TVs from that. Amazing. Hi there, buddy. Hey. <laughs> No oh man, you gave me the scare of my life. I thought you were the tight ass officer. If he catches me, I'm a goner. Who are you? I'm an alternative traveler. What do you think? Ah, so you're a stowaway. I didn't have enough pencils. How can anyone get a ticket without tons of money? Running errands for various generous, very generous dojo masters? Oh, you mean like working for Tahini to get a ticket? Don't sound like... Don't get super upset with me about that. I was not asking for anything and she gave it to me because it was paid already. So... F Somebody's gonna catch some hands here. Hadn't thought of that, to be honest. Anyway, I snuck around the terminal and Dennis until I saw my chance. Then I pried open a barrel of apples and waited until they rolled in it in here. I've never been so dizzy in my life. I should tell the officer. Please don't, they threw me overboard. Do you want me to die in the down, down below? I, um, I don't think they'll do that. Yeah, well, if I want to test your hypothesis, why don't you stow away next time, buddy? Uh, well, risk your business, buddy. It's the life that I chose, buddy. Come visit me in Amnesia sometime. Can I tell him what's going on there? Because it probably won't throw him down. Hello, the decks again. Um. Oh. Well, I spent most of my best, my best years in the airship. That much I can say. Not all of them were as respectable and, shall we say, so clearly on the side of the lawful order of things. As the good ship novel is. Huh. So you're saying you were a pirate? Now, where would you get such a pros preposterous idea? Anyway, there's a stowaway. Still haven't found anything to heal my Tam Tam up also. Bathrooms? No, bathrooms. Mm -hmm. Hmm, sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but I can't be talking to a passenger. I have to plot the course for the captain. Where was that chart again? Mm -hmm. Um, interesting that that is talk considered to be talking to you if I stand here. Okay, so nothing of interest here. Can I get out? Getting in and out of doors sometimes is really weird. Hmm, passengers are not supposed to be here. These machines are fiddly. Please don't touch anything. Touch. How does this work? Some per purists will, will tell you that with a real captain at the helm, you don't really need engines on an airship. And sure, a good Hums woman knows how to do, use the terminals and trade winds to their best advantage. But you don't want to rely on that alone, right? You want to be able to land ac accurately near a mooring mast, hopefully at your destination. And if, say, there's a gale coming from an arbitrary cloud front, you don't want to have to give up and get back home. So that's where my precious baby comes in. Even fully loaded as we are, we can make more than 60 knots, providing we're n provided we're not going straight upwind, of course. you have been on the novel long? Just a couple of years. When they rehauled the engines, really? When they rehauled the re engines, really? You should have seen the old coffee maker they had before. It coughed and sputtered worse than my granny. The old engine had no engineer had no desire to learn how to operate this new metal, so he retired and they took me on. Reckon he's uh, sunbathing in Dennis as we speak. Would you look at my beautiful babies all oiled and humming happily? I wouldn't change this for the world, buddy. Top notch, took many engineering. As powerful and efficient as they come. 
Well, I'll leave it to your machines. Yes, and careful where you put your hands. Antinous stains big time. So probably not also that. Only that. It's probably also really hot. Also, I need to take a sip here real quick because damn, my throat's getting dry with that. Whew, so now we can go on. So nothing of interest here. And round the deck. Hi there. Hello. Sit with me for a minute, fellow traveler. I'm bored to death here. If only I could at least get up and walk a bit. Damn lag. Well, what happened to your leg? Mm, a very unlucky accident. I was surfing. Well, trying to learn how to surf, really. So first time I go on my own into the Solari River and crash into a coral reef. It was quite embarrassing. Also, I nearly drowned. But the embarrassment was the worst bit. And obviously, I can't work on the book like this. You can still write. Yeah, well, I can write. The problem is I don't know what to write about, you see. I'm a travel writer. was working on the tourist guide of the archipelago. That was the reason why I wasn't Dennis in the first place. But I started uh, on the road, wrong foot, so to speak. Mm, I can help you. Help? I appreciate that, but how? Are you a writer? Even if you were, it's unethical, you know? I should write my truthful impressions of the places I visit. And I can't do any visiting like this. Well, I can do the visiting for you. Oh, could you do that for me? I mean, well, who knows. You do look well traveled. Are you planning on visiting any other islands too? Oh, I am. Love traveling. How oh, splendid. Very well then. Make sure to collect your thoughts on each island on the archipelago. And when you're done exploring it, come see my house in Nanga. I'll reward you for your time and effort. And my publisher will be none the wiser. Well, good job. Excellent. I'll see you in Nanga then. Now, I can really relax and enjoy this a little more. Well, that's probably something that will take a long time. Hi, Aaron. Thanks for keeping me company. Can't wait to get home and rest my leg. Oh my. Head. And stomach. I think... I think I'm going to throw up. Uh, look at the horizon. Horizon? What horizon? It's all sky in Ireland. Hi, I'm. You're going to have the niche on business? Business indeed. Take a seat then and let's talk shop. What's your business? If you don't mind me asking. I'm in food experts. Everyone knows about the niche kiwis. But actually, sweet potatoes are the mainstay of the local economy. Huh. But do you like traveling then? Or is this just more like a burden to you? Don't know. Mind traveling, but when you're doing it day in and day out for work, it loses its shine. See, that's kind of what I was thinking then. Well, I gotta talk to the captain. Cool, nice talking to you. Well, captain, you probably should have your hands on the steering wheel, but whatever. Mm. Ah, here. <coughs> ah, here comes a new passenger, Aaron. Well, oh, captain, my captain. No, that's me. Good. Mm -hmm. See that blurry outline on the 12th? Those are the Mersals. Very blurry. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know. That's a lot of smoke. I've no idea what's going on there. But the visibility is... But the visibility is terrible today. Once we get into the massive cloud ahead, we won't see this. See a thing. Which means we'll have to trust our chronometer and the accuracy of our charts to land on the port of Nanga. <sighs> Mr. one Night Matthew. Oh, where the heck is he? Doesn't matter. Aaron, go fetch me the navigation chart. Aye, aye, ma'am. I'm not a sir. Go find Camilla, the navigation officer. Chop, chop, landlubber. I said, ma'am, but the game is stupid. So, navigation, that's you. Mm -hmm. So, I am not supposed to talk to passenger. The captain needs me to co concentrate on plotting the course. Well, the captain needs that chart now. Damnation, she's... She needs it already? Alright, alright, just a second. It must be... Ah! Wait, did I... Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm just not at my finest today. I shouldn't have let Oct Octlana convince me to spend the night in at Sirocco's. It is killing me. Hey, can you please get me some coffee? Black, as strong as the kitchen can make it, please. Sure thing, coffee for you. Mm. Cheers. Hey! Apparently that's... What we're doing this episode, we're gonna do some errands on the ship. 
Ship errands, as they call it. Sharons. Do you make coffee? Yes, yes, I know you're hungry. I'm getting bored, but do you want? Hey, the navigator needs some coffee, matey. He can make it himself. I'm busy making the lunch for the whole crew. Talk to my sous chef. I can do it. I can't do everything alone. Okay, there's sous chef. Shadows. 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 We are those shadows. The navigator needs strong coffee. Oh no, the strong coffee fanatic again. Let him. There, get that mug over there. Strong coffee. And word. And, and word to the wise. Once he gets his caffeine fix, get out of there fast. He gets super hype. Thanks. No problem. Okay, where was I? Shut up. Finally chopped. I don't know if that was the voice that I gave you last time, but. I mean, it kind of works. Okay, buddy. Here's a coffee. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank goodness. There it is. <laughs> Ah, no thank. Now about those charts. Yes. The charts. Mm -hmm. Ah yes 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 here they are and now. We turn fifty degrees here, then fifty five east here, and then yes. We get here, then pass this way upon. Then we are not in danger. You see? Can you see? Buddy, chill down. Mm -hmm. Fine, so here's your cause for the pot. <laughs> it was so easy, you see? Just take some for caffeine, just a little, maybe a lot. <laughs> can you have them? Hey, can you get me another strong coffee? Hey, please, strong coffee. You want me some? Um, classic, so, uh, gotta take chart them. You think so? Hey, well, maybe the chart, hey, yes, here, take them, and uh, take, uh, take them, uh, them, bring them to the captain, yes. Uh, all, all right, uh, see, it wasn't that hard, eh? Sure. Bye. Yes, 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 yes. okay, bye. Yes, yes, yes. No coffee for you. You clearly don't handle that well. Okay, uh, Captain. Definitely should think about the chart maker. Finally, let me see. Navigation. East by northwest. East by northeast, as I suppose. As I supposed. And that's a direct course. It's just a matter of time now. Thanks, Aaron. Just let me know when you want to disembark. I think we're actually done with everything, so let's disembark. Well, passenger, ready to disembark in Indonesia? Yes, let's land. Very well. Very well then, my eye just so give me a short moment because I need perfect vision for that. Get, go get your gear. We'll be mooring in a minute. Nanga, we have just mourned at Nanga. All passengers for Nanga, please alight here. Welcome to the Miseras, Captain. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I always feel at home in Nanga. I really hope to do. You do. Are they out here? I'm afraid it's going to be a long stay. Also, I have 20 crates of sea salt to unload. Then I'm picking up a shipment of fruit, and we're off to Kisiva. I'm afraid that won't be possible, old friend. A like volcano has gone into an eruption. That old volcano? But I thought it was dormant. And it was, but it's no more. The winds are blowing all that volcanic ash towards Kisiva. The plume is so thick we are diverting all traffic to Dennis. It's too much for a navigational hazard, of a navigational hazard for anything flying that way. My rotten luck! Sorry about that idea, Terrain. You'll be first to know once the route is clear again. But I suggest you and the crew get comfortable. It could be a while. Mm. Well, you hear that news? We're stuck here until the volcano calms down. We might as well enjoy it. Mr. One Night Matthew, please! Aye aye, Captain. All hands, hands and officers! Sure, leave until new orders. Mm. Well, Aaron, enjoy him the Nisha, I guess. Say, where will you be heading now? I'm looking for a man named Ravari. Hmm, the dojo master of Mukupuni. What for? I'm honing my time skills. Mm -hmm. Best of luck then. We'll be here for a while. 
Well, I'm sorry for that. Well, we are now in Omnesia, a new island, new people. Hi, you're doing fine. I see you and share breath with you. I see you and share breath with you. I see you know our tradition. You are welcome in Nanga. Blessed is the wind that brings you to our shores. Thank you. Enjoy your time in the Merry Isles, honorable visitor. See, I kind of picked up with that immediately. Because it's such a weird wording and phrasing, kind of made sense. Hey there. Hello, hello, welcome. Is this your first time in Omnidisha? Yes, it sure is. Oh, interested in some recommendations for a first time uh, for first timers in the island Isles? Sure. Start right here in Nanga. It's the biggest city in Indonesia, boasting a world class dojo led by Tahina. Tahin. Tihani, damn it, names! As well as fine shops and boutiques. But don't forget to buy a souvenir. The saunter along the Kano path to picturesque Mokopuni is also a, lo a lovely little town that is. That still has all the flavor of traditional Omnesia, as well as another dojo led by our very own Raviri. And all that is just superior Omnesia. Take the cableway to Citera Omnesia <sighs> to see the Marisana's most impressive natural wonder, the giant banyan. This enormous tree is one of the best loved symbols. Wow. Well, thanks. My pleasure. Enjoy the Marisana's. That was a lot to take in. The names are the biggest problem for me. But we are here now. Oh, a visitor. We share breath, Outlander. Nice tattoo room. Thank you. I'm very fond of neutral Temtem, although the, of course my par parents prefer their traditional nature and fire. Are there many around here? Ah, yes. There are our ancestral Temtem, nature, around the town and the canopy of the trees and fire down the cableway as one gets closer to an volcano. But that makes sense. It does indeed. Hello. Another visitor. We shall breath friend. How can I help you? Um, we can find random for theory. Yeah, I'm doing that actually. Ravi wrote the Ultra Master. He's not hard to find, my friend. He rarely leaves his village of Mokopuni. That's where his dojo is located. Head rest from here, through the canopy Canopath. I'm off to Canopath then. Enjoy your journey, friend. I will. But the first thing before I enjoy anything here is... Where is the freaking... Welcome to Nanga. North Shopping District, South... Marisa's Engineer, Dojo and Canopath. So let's go up here. Maybe there's something at the Shopping District. Because I definitely would need... Uh, yeah, and Temporium. That is what I'm looking for. So, healing up, oh my god, nice, 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 nice. So, we still have a lot to explore here, and I'm thinking about how we're gonna do this, because next episode is the last episode, and I really wanna take a look at the wildlife here. So, going around and talking to everyone will take a lot of time. So that would mean it would be a whole episode if we would do that. So how about I'm just gonna go talk to Raviri if we can find him. We ignore everything else of the area and we will fight with a few new Temtem in this area. Because we really want to see a little bit more before we have our closing thoughts to everything here. So yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. So yeah, next episode will be the last episode. So I'm gonna leave this one right here, I hope you all enjoyed it, if you did, how about you leave a comment down below, I really would appreciate that, hope to see all of you in another video, so bye!